H Town, stay down. H Town, Magnus Town. Yo, I'm Kendrick Sampson, and I, for the past, I don't know, 23, 24, I, I don't even know any more days, I've been quarantining, social distancing, doing what I have to do, but now I'm about to do something crazy. I'm about to do something wild, adventurous, spontaneous, foolish. I'm about to let L go through my phone. What am I doing? <laughs> Man, I went to sleep at like 9 a.m. My, my schedule has been all off. And then I was so tired, I just told my assistant to wake me up when I needed to be up. So he woke me up at 2 p.m. So did I wake up to my alarm? I woke up when my assistant woke me up. So yeah. First person I called today was, I had a therapy session as soon as I woke up. So that's the first person I called. Songs Shuffle, Bebo and Sigala. They're just dope and amazing. They're, I think actually I first heard Bebo and Sigala in a, in a coffee shop and then it was really dope. That's really the whole story. My next one is Morning by Kenny G. <laughs> My parents listened to Kenny G when I was coming up, when I was growing up. So sometimes it's a little nostalgic. I actually saw Kenny G in concert as an adult. Judge me, I don't give a f Next one is Jasmine Sullivan. Do I have to explain that? Jasmine Sullivan is one of the most incredible vocalists and songwriter. She's just so sick of all time. So my DMs, first of all, y'all getting too personal, but I said I would do it. So um, the last thing I got was from the wrong links. That's a, a few buddies of mine that we have a group chat and we send stupid stuff, some really important stuff, some not important at all. This one is her. She did a live with Tori Kelly. She has like a thing called, I think, Girls with Guitars every weekend. She brought in Tori Kelly and to see them vibe was just ridiculous. They're incredible. They're like vocally, oh, out of this world. And this one is the last thing that Chris Wood sent because he, takes everything. He's he's just he's so serious all the time, you know. So yeah, you know, real serious stuff. The last like spirited debate or just spirited conversation, whatever you want to call it, that I got into on social media was Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. I posted her tweet, uh, COVID deaths are disproportionately spiking in black and brown communities. Why? Because of the chronic toll of redlining, environmental racism, wealth gap, etc. are underlying health conditions. Inequality is a comorbidity. COVID relief should be drafted with the lens of reparation. So I've seen articles and uh, statistics of the disproportionate impact because of the oppression that, had the, that is the history of this country. I've been thinking about that a lot, that our relief should be drafted through a lens of, of uh, reparations and making sure that we're healing those communities because the effect is going to be disproportionate. The virus doesn't discriminate. The guy that I went back and forth with said that he thought that I meant that the virus was targeting our communities, but he finally came around when he realized I was saying that the systems are targeting our communities and because of that, it's a disproportionate effect on our communities by the virus. A selfie that I, I mean, I, that I refuse to put on social media, I pretty much will put anything on social media. I don't know, but I'll give y'all this one. This one's, this one's good. How's that? It's pretty good. Books, I got a few books on my phone, um, mostly scripts, but the first one is Angela Davis, Freedom is a Constant Struggle, Ferguson, Palestine, and the Foundations of a Movement. Right here, that's uh, actually Fabiana Rodriguez. She's like a really dope artist. Then you've got Children of Virtue and Vengeance and Children of Blood and Bone, Tommy Adeyemi. If you haven't read Children of Blood and Bone and Children of Virtue and Vengeance, you are missing out. And then MacBook Pro Essentials. I don't know what, I, I haven't ever read that. I think the last account that I follow, I don't follow a whole lot of people. I'm like really intentional about my energy. One of these, because it's been a while. So uh, CPD Action, the Center for Popular Democracy, or Meg The Stallion. 
One of those was the last one. H Town. Stay down. H Town. Make the stop. People uh, download shows to their phone, like whole shows, like the whole show. Download it. I didn't know you had enough space for that. I guess you, I don't know, maybe I'm old. I don't know. I don't download shows to my phone. I don't do that. But I do watch them. Ozark, man, that that show is out of this world. I mean, it definitely keeps you on the edge of your seat trying to figure out what's gonna happen next and, and had some of the most uncomfortable sex scenes I've ever seen in my life. I, I mean, multiple of them from several different characters. It was, they were very uncomfortable. Favorite account by far to follow on Instagram is Build Power. Build, build, power, power, build, power. Uh, it's my, my nonprofit uh, initiative that I started with Tia Osho and Mike De La Rocha and the woman that runs this account is incredible. Jacqueline, she's dope. We've got some difficult days ahead. And it's, you know, his speech of I've been to the mountaintop and but then it highlights like Nipsey Hussle and radical organizers and liberators from our past like Cesar Chavez and then Dolores Huerta and then Ida B. Wells. It has Shirley Raines, current liberators who fights for the homeless population here. Just a bunch of, you know, rising power. Nathaniel Wood, we amplify, we build community and it's so dope and important. My social media guilty pleasure, I mean, I, I think I got a few of them. I mean, I like following strippers or, you know, going to the, their accounts and then I go down a rabbit hole. I also do the same thing with fitness accounts. Fitness accounts and animals. The last one, I went on a, a long thing on servals, and then I Googled it. So that's probably the wildest thing I Googled for the next question. That was the wildest thing I Googled searching servals. It's like a cat. That's like a wild cat. And then ocelots. And, um, and that led to the honey badger and uh, otters. And then um, mongoose and uh, cheetahs. And then I ended on hippos, a bunch of like random facts about hippopotami, hippopotamuses, hippopotam hippopotami, multiple hippopotamus. All right, I'm done. The most recent photo on my phone is this, uh, it's a screenshot of Bernie Sanders. The coronavirus does not differentiate based on immigration status and our economic and health response must not either. Guaranteeing all residents the assistance they need makes us safer, stronger, and is the morally right thing to do. Boom, love that. Uh, as far as a photo that I took, I don't necessarily want to show because it has my address on it. Thank y'all so much for joining me and L and hanging with us today. And make sure y'all subscribe to L for more videos like this. Watch Fashionably Yours on Hallmark Channel. Make sure y'all wash your hands. Wash your hands. Wash the rest of your bodies. Make sure y'all do that. Let's do that together. Let's flatten the curve together. Let's not wash our bodies together because that's, let's not do, because we have to practice social distancing. So I wasn't suggesting that you wash together. I'm saying wash separately your hands and your body, but you can wash all of that together at the same time, but not together with other people. Anyway, so just make sure you do that and um, stay home. Let's flatten the curve together. Let's do this. Let's stay healthy.